a very good morning from a very nice and dry Kuala Lumpur here in Malaysia. There's still many things that uh, are left unexplored or are relatively new. So today I'm going to do a few, hopefully, oh, there's a hole in the road. Today I'm going to do a few, uh, hopefully. I'm going to KL Tower first. Let's uh, have a little walk, it's about half an hour. We are next to the central market, which is not open yet, it's still pretty early, it's just after 10, it's not early, but uh, for here it's early apparently. And these little stalls will all open up in about an hour's time, I guess. It's a Tuesday, so pretty quiet. Let's see what we can find today. This used to be a city square with some trees. Guess what? It's not there anymore. That's a nice uh, place to park. Right on the zebra cross. And my light's not working, so uh, that's why I just crossed the traffic. Hmm. Nice old houses, same as the shop houses we saw in Thailand and uh, earlier this year. British influence goes a long way. There we are, that thing in the back is the Kiel Tower. This is a pretty nice area to walk. Big trees, ash pavement, really green. And uh, nice buildings every once in a while. We have to go left here up to get to the Kiel Tower, we can't see. Let's uh, take this shortcut. Because I think it ends up at the street where we need to go, but higher. And if not, too bad. Well, that was useless to walk out here again. So no, that doesn't make it me a shortcut. There's where we go. That's uh, pretty high up. So most of the time I just walk to places if there's uh, no real best transport. Uh, it's 11 in the morning, KL without wind. Um, sometimes it's not a good idea, I know, but the uh, thing is, we're almost there. I have to say, the views are pretty neat. That's one of the highest builders in Southeast Asia, right over there. Bought my ticket for the observation deck only because it's inside. I don't need to go to the outside again. Hi, Hello, hi, sir. Morning. Morning. Okay, on your Thank you. Right inside. Thank you. This is air conditioned. And almost 300 meters up. That's pretty neat. You can see that biggest tower in Kiel. Merdeka Tower. And the old airport there. Ah, we were there earlier. So we are at the observation deck, which is 278 meters above, not sea level, ground level. Above us still is the outside observation deck and a few restaurants. I'm not going there because the outside observation deck is twice the price, almost, and is uh, outside again. One of the walls is used to display the top 10 highest towers in the world. A remarkable number can be found in mainland China. And if we turn around, we have a view of the world famous Petronas Twin Towers. Looks really old. As we are almost 300 meters above street level, with a 360 degree view over Kuala Lumpur and its suburbs, let's have a closer look on some of the more remarkable buildings and structures that are actually visible from here. The apparent random construction of high-rise buildings in the area blocks the view on some of the smaller and older buildings, but there's still enough to see. The huge flagpole on Dataramadeka is about 95 meters high. 
The highest in the world is over 200 meters though and is located in Cairo, Egypt. So most of the time I want to own. Oh,